Hello there and welcome back to another episode of our Lumina Neo Academy. The show where we help you to get the most out of this photo editing application. Now, if you've never been here before, my name is Jacob Bors and I'm a creator and founder here at Clever Photographer. Now, before we're going to start, I have a few things I want to cover. First of all, at the end of the video, I'm going to give you access to our popular Luminar Neo shortcut cheat sheet. So you make sure that you stay until the end. Also, if you don't own Luminar Neo or the HDR Merge plugin, get our discount code to get the best possible price and you can find it in the description of this video. Finally, I would like to ask you to please like, comment and share on this video. And also don't forget to subscribe to our channel so we can keep creating content like this. In today's tutorial, I want to give you a 10 tips to get you started with Luminar Neo. There is a big chance that you know some of them, so if you want to jump between each of the tips, make sure that you use the chapter option at the bottom of your screen. Now, as you can see, we are already in Luminar Neo, it's completely empty, and this is how it would most likely look when you just install it and open it. Starting with the point number one, and that's setting up your language. To do this, you go to the top left corner of your screen, click on the Luminar Neo logo, and then just go down until you see the language and select the language you want to use. If you are using the Windows version of the software, then you click on the logo, go into the file, and then language. Once your language is set, we can move to the next step, and that's to make sure that you're running the most recent version of the software. To do this, once again, we're gonna click on the Luminar Neo logo, and then here, look for the check for updates. One more time, if you're using the Windows version of the software, you click on the logo, then you look for help, and there you're gonna see the same button, check for updates. Once you click on it, it will scan the software and see if there is an update that needs to be installed. Now we have our language set and we have our software updated. For the next step, we're going to install Luminar Neo as a plugin for other photo editing software. Luminar Neo can be used as a plugin for software like Lightroom or Photoshop. And to install it, we need to go back into the Luminar Neo logo click on it and then look for button called install plugins. Click on that and that will open new window. One more time, if you are a Windows user, the path would be click on the logo, file and then install plugin. Once you open it, it will open a new window and here you're going to see a list of photo editing applications. For me, you see the Adobe Photoshop or Adobe Lightroom Classic. As you can see, I already have the Luminar Neo installed as a plugin for Lightroom Classic, and I just need to install it for Adobe Photoshop. All you need to do here is to click on Install, and then you're going to get this little tick here, and the plugin is installed. Sometimes to make it work, you need to restart the application, just close it and reopen it, and then you should be ready to go. If for some reason the plugin doesn't work, come back here, click on uninstall and then install it again and that most of the time does the job. Once you finish here, you just click on done. Moving on the tip number four, focusing on Luminar Neo's catalog. The catalog is a document or set of folders where all the information about editing of your photos is stored. To start with, Right now, when we just install the software, the catalog is very small or there is nothing at all. So this is a great opportunity to make sure that we save the catalog to the location we want. Initially or traditionally, the catalog is saved in your documents or in your pictures folder. This is often on your main drive and that doesn't always have enough space. Just to give you an idea, after using the catalog for several months, the size of the catalog can go up to 50, 60 gigabytes. So if you want to move it to the hard drive that will have enough space in the future, right now, when you haven't done anything, is the best time to do this. If you haven't added or edited any image in Luminar Neo at all, 
The easiest way to do this is to go to the top of your screen, then click on File, then Catalog and New. Just to make sure that we cover it for Windows users, you would instead click on the logo, then File, then Catalog and New again. Click on New and that will open a new window. Now you can navigate towards the location where you want to save your catalog. For me, for example, I can put it on a hard drive with my images. And here I can now select the name of the new catalog. So for example, I can call it Bors Photography. And I usually also add a year for me 2023. Once I have my name selected, my hard drive, I just click on Save. The application takes a moment and it resets with a new catalog. Once again, you can see there is nothing here. If you have already added any images or made any edits, then you would want to just move the current catalog. And to do this, we're going to go back to the top of our screen, click on File, then again Catalog and click on Show in Finder. By doing that, it will show you the location of the catalog. Let me just make this a little smaller. And here you can see the location of the catalog. What you would do here, you would select all of this or the folder under, so in our case, Bors Photography, copy and paste it in a new location. So let's just create quickly one folder here. Let's call it test and just move it there. And after this, what you can do, you can come back into Luminar Neo, click on File, click on Catalog and click on Open. Now you would navigate to the new location of the catalog, open it and just click on open. And now it will open the catalog in the new location. By the way, if you want to see a full tutorial on how to do this, how to backup your catalog, create it, we have a full tutorial on this and I will link it in the description of this video. Now we have our catalog set and it's time to add images into it. For this, we need to be in the catalog module and we're going to be focusing on the left side of the screen. For us, we're going to be using the folders as it gives you the most control and it's the easiest way to add multiple images at the same time. So we're going to go and hover over the folders and then navigate towards the right to click on the Add Folder Plus button. That will open a new window and here you're going to navigate towards the location of your photos. For me, it's a new drive where I have a photos from 2022 and 2023. I could click on add folders here. However, I just want to add pictures from the 2023. So I double click on it. And as you will see, when I open it, I already have lots of folders with different days and different photos. Here, all I'm going to do is I'm going to click on add folder. Now the application will take a moment to add all these folders and images into the catalog module. Once it's all finished, we can come back into the left part of our screen here and you will see that the main folder is the 2023 we have just added. To top it off, next to it you will see a little arrow. When you click on that, you will see that we have new set of folders here following the same structure as you saw on the previous window. So now I can click on the folder and it will only show me the pictures from this specific folder. So I find that using the folders is the easiest way to go around my images in Luminar Neo. Before we going to continue, I want to quickly mention that this tutorial is powered by our Luminar Neo Power Bundle. For a little fee, you will get over 986 new elements to power up your Luminar Neo tools. By getting it, you will receive extra high definition skies, overlays, textures, backgrounds, sky objects, LUTs and presets to easily transform your images with just a few clicks. To get the best possible price, make sure that you follow the link in the description of this video. And to find out more about this best-selling bundle, visit our website cleverphotographer.com. Moving on with the tips, now it's time to make sure we have all our extensions installed. 
To do this, we're going to go to the top right corner of our screen and click on Extras. Here you will see three options, Extensions, Marketplace and Membership. Since we're covering the extensions, we make sure that we're there. And then you can scroll through the list of different extensions that come with the software. Extensions in Luminar Neo are professional paid add-ons that brings a new functionality and they power up your photo editing possibilities in the software. Now, depending on how you purchase Luminar Neo, you may have them or not. If you purchase Luminar Neo with a one-time payment, you will most likely have to buy these extensions separately. However, if you have purchased Luminar Neo on the professional subscription, you will get the extensions with it. Regardless how you got them, this is the place where you install them. To do this, you will scroll here, find the extension and then just click on install button. Once you install them, you will see the install button just like you see on my screen. Once you have them installed, you just close the window here and start using them. Moving on to the tip number seven. Now it's time to add your own assets. If you own Luminar Neo presets, the easiest way to add them is to go into the presets module and here click on add. If you're looking for more presets, make sure that you visit our website, cleverphotographer.com, where we have all sorts of presets there. Or you can also visit Luminar Neos page by simply clicking on a get more presets. The rest of the assets are imported through other tools in edit module. Let's quickly jump there. And now really quickly, if you want to add overlays, textures, layers and frames, you can use the layers panel. To add your own custom skies, you need to use the sky AI tool in the creative section of your main toolbar. And finally, to add your LUTs, you need to use the mood tool. If you want to see how to use these tools and how to import the assets, make sure that you watch all the different tutorials we have available on our YouTube channel. Now with the next tip, I want you to have access to the official manual for Luminar Neo. To get it, you need to visit manual.skylum.com. Once you open the page, you will see this view. On the top, you can select the language and for the manual, there is a choice between Japanese, Korean, Deutsch, French and Spanish. And of course, also English. On the top, you can also choose between Luminar Neo, Luminar AI and Luminar 4. Since we are focusing on Neo, we select it and continue from here. If you are looking for a specific topic, you can use the search bar. And don't forget that you can print any of these topics and you can also download the entire manual by clicking on the download as PDF at the bottom of the navigation menu. On the top of the manual, I also suggest you to get our Luminar Neo shortcut cheat sheet. To do this, visit our website, cleverphotographer.com slash luminar gift. From there, you will get this PDF document you can download or print. It's ready for a print and have it next to your computer. This will give you a quick access to all the shortcuts that you need to quickly navigate around the application. And finally, with the tip number 10, it's time to set our main toolbar. As you can see, we are in the application and we are in the edit module. From here, we will bring our attention towards the main toolbar. The first thing you want to do is to add the histogram. To do this, right click on the image and then click on show histogram at the bottom of the window. This will then bring the histogram to the top of the main toolbar. Now you can click on it to switch between the different modes, depending what you prefer. I prefer the average looking like this and leave it that way. So now we have a histogram. The next thing we should set is our favorites section. As you probably noticed, our main toolbar has a section like extensions, essentials, creative and so on. To make the editing faster, I like to use the favorite section and add there a tools I use the most. The one tool I use all the time is the develop tool. So just hover over it, right click on it and click add to favorites. 
This way we will get the develop tool on the top in its own favorite section. So that's the develop tool. I also use the noiseless AI all the time. So right click on it and again click on add to favorites. From some other tools I use all the time, I use the enhance AI, structure AI, and also the vignette. From the creative section, I also use the mystical tool all the time, so I just add it there. Now I can go back to the list and I can just very quickly go through these tools instead of scrolling through up and down. If I have added any of the tools by mistake, I can just right click on it and then click on remove from favorites. You will see that over the time, as you continue using the application, the favorite section will change. However, make sure that you keep using it to speed up the whole photo editing process. Before we going to finish, I have a two extra tips for you. First one, if you ever get stuck, make sure that you contact directly Skylum support on their website at skylum.com slash support. Just fill the form there and they will get back to you. With the second tip, and when you're ready to push your photo editing skills in Luminar Neo even further, I suggest you to get our Luminar Neo Masterclass. It will help you to master your editing workflow using the full potential of Luminar Neo. The Masterclass contains 69 lessons with more than 6 hours of training in 4K video quality and you can watch it on all your devices. So when you're ready, just visit our website cleverphotographer.com slash luminar masterclass. And there you have it. If you want a copy of our popular Luminar Neo shortcut cheat sheet, there is nothing easier than heading to our website cleverphotographer.com slash luminar gift. While you're there, you can also check out one of our popular Luminar Neo products, or you can stay here and watch more videos about Luminar Neo. For today, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please make sure that you like, comment and share on this video. And also don't forget to subscribe to our channel so we can keep creating content like this. For today, thank you very much for watching. My name is Jacob Bors and I can't wait to see you in the next video.